Hello students, uh, in this session we will discuss what are the fundamental approach for a logic design. Before going for that, in previous session we have studied the Boolean laws and uh, theorems. So, by understanding those theorems and by learning those theorems, we will we know how to simplify the bigger Boolean equation into a simpler form, so that it will be implemented by using a minimum number of gates, so that the cost of the design reduces as well as we can rely more on that. That means, reliability will be more on that. So, today we will see what are the fundamental approaches are there to design the logic specifically I am talking in terms of sum of products that is one method another is product of sum and arranging the logic variables in terms of SOP or POS that is product of sums like. So, depending upon the requirement either of the method can be used SOP method or I can say POS method like specifically if I am using sum of product method means we can design or we can realize the logical circuits in terms of under logic or under logic or NAND NAND logic in terms of SOP or <coughs> you can use something like NAR NAR logic that is NAR combination of NAR we can use it for POS product realization. So, first we will try to see how to design the sum of products for a given input variables and later we will see how best we can simplify this by using K map Karnoff map method to simplify the logical expression or equation into a simpler form so that you can implement it easily. See first I will take a sum of products for a two variables inputs like that is A and B as you can see I have written a table here truth table for two input variables here. So, let us see what is the fundamental products like. See <coughs> for a NAND gate we can have four possible combinations of an input for which we will be getting an output is equal to 1 for them we call it as a fundamental products. For example, in the first <coughs> figure that is A bar and B bar the product term that I will be getting is A bar a bar b bar. See when I substitute the values of a and b is equal to 0, 0 means I will be getting an output is equal to 1. For them we call it as a fundamental products. The fundamental products are also called as min terms. Fundamental products are also called as min terms. See in this table I have mentioned four combinations of the fundamental product. The first one is a bar b bar, another one is a bar b, the third one is a b bar and the last one is a b. Okay, for all the values for a inputs like a b a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 means the the fundamental product a b will give you an output is equal to 1. I am repeating for them we call it as a min terms like. Okay. So, there are another way of representing like usually we will write in terms of m 0, m 1, m 2 and m 3 respectively for the product terms a bar b bar, a bar b, a b bar and a b. See usually we try to write something like m of i suffix i, suffix i represents a decimal equivalent for the binary values that gives an output product output value is equal to 1 for a fundamental a product like. See if any input system is having n number of variables means na, na, we can have 2 to the 4 of n possible combination of min terms, possible combination of min terms here. See let us see <coughs> we will consider 3 input variables like when we consider 3 input variable means we will get 2 to the 4 of 3 possible min terms or I can say fundamental products. See here the possible combinations are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1 you will be having it like. If I write the fundamental product in terms of logical labels that I we are using A, B, C that is A bar, B bar, C bar to A, B, C. See here <coughs> for A dash, B dash and C dash if I give a value is equal to 0, 0 means the fundamental product output is equal to 1. Similarly, for you will be having an 8 other combinations for which uh, you, are, you can write an min term for which you can write a min term <coughs> is equal to m0, m1, m2 up to m7 you can write it like that is a easy. So, that representation will give us in easy way of simplifying by using K map. Yeah. Okay. So, once you are understood how to write the fundamental products or a min terms for a given any input next you have to find out a solution for any uh, truth table that you are represented. How do we do that in the sense wherever the outputs are equal to 1 for them we will be making a fundamental products or min terms and then we will try to combine the logical variables in terms of products and then if you do an R in R 
hurrying operation with respect to those min terms will be getting a final equation according to the truth table that you are written it like. There is another way of representation of this sum of product equation also that is y is equal to y is equal to depending upon the number of <coughs> number of input variables you will be writing f see f is a function of a b c that is logic variables a b c which gives an output for all these terms that is min terms this is a summation of min terms here like if I write 2 6 or something like 7 means in all these positions the output of output is equal to 1 with respect to this input variables like this is another way of representing the sum of products. So, let us see how to find out an equation for one truth table by taking an example just I will try to explain how we can <coughs> write a min terms for the outputs which is having the value is equal to 1. So, just I will try uh, here you can see how do you write the min terms for a particular design with respect to the truth table means first you have to locate the one in the truth table and write down the min terms with respect to that. The first one with respect to this truth table is the truth table is when a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 you have an output is equal to 1. For that you, you can write a product term that is a dash b b a dash b and c and the next one that we have is for the input 1 0 1. So, you can write a product term that is mid term is equal to a b bar c. So, like that we have another two outputs here with respect to the input is 1 1 0 and 1 1. So, the min term with respect to them is a b c bar and a b c. So, in the final to write an output equation what you need to do is you have to R these min terms such that you will be getting a final equation in terms of SOP that is product of sum. So, the another way of representing is we will be using a summation sign which indicates Ring of all these min terms. Uh, these min terms is having an output value is equal to 1 1 in these positions like this is a decimal equivalent decimal equivalent of binary values like 1 1 0 1 1 that is 7 6 and 7 ok. So, here the other way of representing in the sense this is f a b c means means y is a function of 3 logic variables. So, like that we can create we can write the truth table for 4 variables and we can create a fundamental products wherever the output of that in value is equal to 1 for a given input. So, you can frame a fundamental products or a min terms and you can group them or you can R them such that you will get a final logic with respect to the truth table that you are written it like. <coughs> okay. Once the logical equation or a Boolean equation is framed according to the truth table means next you have to realize it by using the basic gates like either you can use an AND gate or an R gate or you can use usually the SOPs SOP will be realized by using NAND and logic because NAND and NAR are nothing but universal gates. See <coughs> the A, A bar B C is the first min term. So, how do you get this product equation that is A bar B C means you have to use an AND gate here. Similarly, A B bar C that is A B bar C. So, all the product terms will be generated <coughs> by using an AND gate and the R will be done by using an R operation. This is AND R solution for the Boolean equation that you are written in terms of SOP. Okay. So, the same thing suppose I will take an example we will see how we can frame in fundamental products or min terms and then we will try to realize a, a circuit for that like. So, for example, for all these combination I will take 3 input variable and the for the combination of inputs like this suppose say 1 1 0 and 1 1 1. See in the truth table all these combinations of an input will be having an output is equal to 1 output is equal to 1. So, what we do is so let us see how we can frame and min terms with respect to this for 3 variables here. So, to do that first you need to write the truth table with respect to this combination here like. So, as I said we have 3 input variables and the output that we will be getting is 1 like. So, 0 0 so we have to write because we have 3 variables means naturally you will be having 8 combinations. So, 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and then 1 1. 
So, according to my requirement in all these in uh, all these inputs will give you the output is equal to 1 that means, if I give a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 means, I will be getting an output is equal to 1. Wherever this input combination is there just try to fill the value is equal to 1, when other positions try to fill the value is equal to 0. <coughs> so, 0 1 0 means 1, what 0 1 1 is equal to 0, 1 0 0 is equal to 0, this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 1 1. In all these positions the output is equal to 1. For this you have to write a min terms and then try to or those min terms to get a final equation. See here the first min term in the truth table like the first one that I am getting for a combination of inputs is equal to 0 0. So, my min term will be equal to a bar, b bar and c bar. So, another one that I have for an input combination is equal to that is output is equal to 1 for this income combination. So, I have to write a bar, b and c bar. The another one is so a b and c bar. So, in this case the inputs all are equal to 1 1 1 a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 means output of that will be equal to 1. For that we call it as a fundamental product the combination of logical variables if I do like this means I will be getting an output is equal to 1. So, basically the concept here is you try to arrange these logical variables with a complement such that if I substitute the values of these inputs means you have to get an output is equal to 1. For them we call it as min pro, min terms min term just I try to write it here the min term <coughs> min term. So, usually this min terms will be represented with a suffix with a decimal value that is m naught this is equal to m 2 this is m 6 and this is m 7. <coughs> so, this represents the decimal value equivalent to a binary value with respect to the inputs here that makes the output is equal to 1. So, now I can write an expression here y is equal to so, the first min term that we have is a bar b bar c bar you are that next is a b c bar next is plus a b c bar the last one that we have is a b c this is the final expression or like a boolean equation in terms of sum of products here like once this expression is formed so what you do is you have to implement this logical expression by using maybe an under combination or preferably in terms of universal gate that is nand nand logic nand nand logic. Let us see how we can do this by using a NAND logic. The another, another way of representation of the same expression in terms of min term is it is a summation of min terms in those positions like 0, 1 sorry 0, 2, 6 and 7. So, this representation will help me in simplifying by using a K map like k map the Karnoff map, map map representation. So, <coughs> usually in books they will try to write something like this, this is a function output depends on three input variables like a and b c, those will give you an output as equal to 1 for this inputs binary equivalent inputs like 6 and 7. So, this is an representation in terms of an equation. Like. So, now let us see how do you form a digital type of circuitry for this expression this is called as logic design. <coughs> See now we have an a b c a bar b c. So, just I will try to write something like a a bar b b bar and c c bar. So, depending upon the min term just I will try to connect it like this. So, this is a bar b bar c I will try to connect it to this I will connect it to an AND gate here. <coughs> so, next is a bar a bar b next is c bar. So, this I will connect it to an another gate such that you will get this product term here. So, now similarly you try to connect another uh, main term that is a this is a next is b b is this next is c bar c bar is an output here. So, if I connect another I will be try connecting to another NAND gate the last term that is left with is a next is b b next is c. So, this will give you the product term. So, next R ring will be done by connecting one more NAND gate here one more NAND gate it will give the same type of output like that is y is equal to the required output. 
this is one way of designing it. The another way is by using an and or logic you can connect it like and or logic also you can design the circuitry for this expression. So, like that depending upon the number of variables, depending upon the number of input variables you can frame an equation logical equation or you can write an logical Boolean equation and we can select the gates which we wanted to implement it like. So, preferably we go for a uh, universal gates to realize the digital circuits, digital circuit. I hope you are understood how to write a min terms for a given truth table. Now, as we have learnt in a previous class Boolean laws and theorems for rearranging the logical expression to get a simpler form rearranging the logical expression to get a simpler form, so that I can implement that logic expression by using minimum number of gates, so that the cost and the reliability will also be more. So, let us see the simplifi simplification methods. Now, you are understood how to frame an equation for a given truth table. Now, we will see how do we simplify those <coughs> logical expression by using a simple method called as K map method like Carnot map method, it is a graphical type of simplification that we do to get a simpler logical expression, simpler logical expression. Okay. So, let us see what is the K map here. So, the next that we will be discussing is how to convert this truth table into a K map representation, so that I can group the adjacent blocks such that you will be getting a minimum terms in terms of SOP minimum terms in terms of SOP. So, K map just we will try to define what is a K map or Karnoff map. K map is a visual display of fundamental products needed for SOP solution that is to frame a simplified equation. I will repeat K map is nothing but a visual display of fundamental products or a min terms or a min terms needed for simplification to get a simple solution to get a simple solution here. So, first we will take up two, two variable to table that is A and B are the two input variables and the output that I am getting is Y. See in that <coughs> see for a given input like 1 and 0 the output is equal to 1 and when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1 we are getting an output is equal to 1. This I have to map into a, a K map that is Carnoff map which will help us to simplify to get a simplified Boolean equation. See the first <coughs> figure represents something like A bar followed by A and in the horizontal one also B bar followed by B. So, it gives you something like the combination of product terms here like that is in the 0th position that is here we will be getting A bar B bar, next will be A bar B, A B bar and A B. So, all the product terms you will be getting here like wherever that product terms giving an output is equal to 1 you have to fill in K map that is see all and also this A bar B bar will always gives me in the position is equal to 0 that is decimal equivalent to the binary value like. So, A bar B means it is 0 1 the decimal value is equal to 1 there like. Similarly, A <coughs> like that we will be getting other terms. So, if you look at the truth table means the first one you are getting for an input is equal to 1 and 0. 1, 0. So, wherever that A bar, A B bar is there, in that position you try to fill it is equal to 1, it is equal to 1. Similarly, you have one more in the output table that is when the input combination is equal to 1, 1 means you are getting an output is equal to 1. So, you try to fill that is equal to 1, 1, okay. that is equal to 1, 1. So, now this is a complete K map for two variable input here like. So, two variable, how to simplify this K map to get a minimum solution just we will try to say later. So, this is two input variable K map like two variable K map like that let us see how we can write it for three variable, three variables. So, three variables means naturally you will be getting eight combinations of min terms. See the two table that taken is example here in position 2, 6 and 7 I have an output is equal to 1. Those outputs has to be entered in three variable K map here. So, here <coughs> so three variable K map means in the vertical direction in vertical we are arranging two combinations here like two variable combination that is A bar B bar, A bar B, A B and A B b. So, you try to notice here the students see after and instead of writing a b here just I have written a b here because to get a one difference one change with respect to the variable b bar 
here b is there b bar is there here a is a bar is there a is there so one term should be changed to get an x location or adjacent block here that's why this is changed like ab is written first and ab bar is written later so here c bar and c this is a sequence of representing the 0 and 1 here like see in some books <coughs> they will try to write it like this also so this is <coughs> they will write the variables here a b and c so so whenever i have two variables means naturally you will be getting four combinations the values for those combination is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 because here you have only one variable means i'll be getting two combinations that is 0 and 1 okay so this is uh, in some books they will write it like this also or you can represent with a bar b bar something like a b a bar b a b and a b bar like ok. So, 0 0 this is a binary 0 0 means it is 0th box this is first box sec second 0 <coughs> 0 1 0 0 1 1 next is 0 1 this is 1 0 0 means 4 this is 5 this is 1 1 0 means 6 and 7. So, these are nothing but suffix values in terms of min terms. So, <coughs> the truth table that I have here is you have an output value is equal to 1 in position 2, in position 2 and in 6 and 7 like. So, what you do is just try to see the combination of input here like. So, 0 1 0. So, 0 1 0. So, you put the value of that is equal, value is equal to 1. So, next is in the position 1 1 0. 1 1 0 position you have the output is equal to 1 the min term output is equal to 1. So, you have one more 1 there that is 1 1 1 ok this is the first way to write to fill the output min term value is equal to 1 1. So, in all other blocks you try to fill 0 in all other blocks you try to fill the 0 this is a car not to table mapping to 3 variables here of k map 3 variable k map. <coughs> So, usually the equation that you can write with respect to this is summation of min terms, summation of min terms that is 2, 6, 7. In terms of an expression, I can write it as in this <coughs> 2 that is 0, 1, 0 means I will be getting A bar, B, C bar, A <coughs> next is A, B, C bar plus A, B, C. See this equation can be simplified by using Boolean relations and theorems also to get the final equation, final simplified form or otherwise I can use directly this Carnot map by grouping one ones such that you can reduce the term which is changing from uncomplemented to complement you can change it. The meaning of meaning to say this is suppose a c is a variable see if c is changed to c complement means the value of this is equal to 1. So, that I can combine the two ones in the consecutive adjacent blocks such that I will be getting this equation which will be equal to 1. So, that is the concept that we will be using in KMAP to simplify that we will see later. Let us see how to form <coughs> a, a conversion from two table to a KMAP then we will try to see how we can simplify that like. So, next we will see four variable KMAP here, four variable K map four variable in the sense we will be having four input variables, <coughs> four input variables and one output will be there, one output will be there like. See just I have given I have taken example as one truth table which is taken from the book. So <coughs> in which, in which in the position, position one, one, six, seven and at fourteen we have. So, there is a correction here like I have written 2 just you try to change it to 1 there <coughs> in position 1 and in 6, 7 and 14 we have the outputs are equal to 1 for them we call this as a min terms. So, <coughs> let us see how we can write an Carnot map that is K map with respect to the 4 variables with respect to 4 variables here as I said before you have to write the consecutive variable change here. Say that is a, is a bar b bar a bar b because we have two input variables in the this side and horizontally also we will be arranging two other variables like it always starts with an 0 0 that is complemented from c bar d bar c bar d c d and c d bar like. So, this is just an arrangement of logical variables in terms of k map here k map as well I will try to write in terms of the values here so that you can easily fill the min term values into these locations. So, a b and c d. 
are the two uh, four variables here naturally four variables means we totally will be getting 16 blocks 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0. So, <coughs> you can write something like 0 1 2 0 1 3 2 this is 0 1 0 4 5 7 6 next is <coughs> 8 9 this is 11 10 similarly you can write 1 1 0 11 12 something like that. So, these will give you the positional values or I can say binary equivalent decimal values here. So, that is 0 1 2 3 2 <laughs> that I have written here. So, in all these positions what you need to do is according to the given two table wherever the one is there you have to fill it here like. So, <laughs> here the first term is A bar B bar C bar and D A bar C bar this is A bar C bar and C D bar is there like C D bar. So, <coughs> the first min term is in the position 1 here that is A bar C bar and C D bar. So, that is A bar C B bar and C D bar. So, in this position you have to fill that is equal to 1. Actually, I have written in terms of 2 here, but you try to make a correction here that is 1. Okay. So, so four, 14 means it is 1 1 1 0 for this 1 1 1 0 means A B is 1 1 here 1 0 is this in 14th position you have to fill 1. So, wherever the min term value is equal to 1 you identify the input inputs that you are given and locate those inputs with respect to the K map and in that position you try to fill the 1. So, this is converting of uh, a truth table into K map into K map into K map here like. So, if at all if I have more number variables means what we do is we have an another method for simplifying it like, but still <coughs> if 5 variables are there means if 5 variables suppose say A, B, C, D, E is there means what we do is either we will keep this as a, a is equal to 0 and we will then write we <coughs> write the K map like this by considering other B, C, D, E is a format cable that is four map four variable k map and another one we will try to keep a is equal to 1 and we will try to simplify by using four variable k map. This is the method that we use it like, but there are other methods if more number of variables are there means we go for Quinn Maclesky method which is a simplification method is more efficient when compared to something like graphical type of simplification by using k map that we will see in the next session. First I will take up an example how to simplify or how to group these ones in terms of k map representation k map representation like. So, usually in k map we will try to group the adjacent ones so that we can simplify the equation. See the we will group actually we will group the ones in terms of pairs that is in terms of pairs means we will be <coughs> one one will be combining maybe in vertical sense or maybe in terms of horizontal sense in terms of horizontal sense. Just to try to write uh, <coughs> the equation with respect to one one let us see what is the simplification that we can do with respect to pair. The first one I will take this example that is A B C D bar A B C D bar another term that I have is A B another term with respect to this I have is A B bar C D A B bar A B bar A B bar next is next is C D bar C D bar. <coughs> so, the change that we can see here is that is I can take a common factor A C D bar that is B plus B bar. See the change that we can see with respect to the logical variable B is here there is a B and the next one is B bar. If I combine this with the logical R operation means B plus B bar is equal to 1. So, that I can simplify one variable here you will be getting A C D bar. So, like that we have to combine the pairs to an adjacent block so that I can simplify one logical variable here. That means, the equation will get reduced like if I similarly I can group the number of ones in terms of quad also that means, four ones you can combine that is what you can see here. This is four ones are there adjacent adjacent blocks or adjacent 
<coughs> ones are there you can combine this is called as quad four ones are there here also there is an another form of combining it like say this is one 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 there is a quad here like see here the two pairs are there you can combine individually you can make it a pair if I combine if I do like this means you will be getting three terms in an SOP if I combine like this means I will be getting only two terms in a SOP that is an advantage of making higher group like higher group. So, here I have written a pair is a group of two ones that are horizontally or vertically adjacent it eliminates one variable and its complement and its complement like if I make into a four group like four group means it eliminates two variables if I make it an octet means it eliminates three variables that you can see here that you can see here like this is one 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 is there one one this is eight ones are there like for this we call it as a quad type of representation this and also we can be done like this but this gives this eliminates only two variables this eliminates three variables like three variables this gives so in simplification what we need to do is after entering the ones in the k map first you have to form the actate if it is possible you try to form the actate or if it is not possible with respect to an actate means next what you need to do is you go for quad type of representation if it is not possible with respect to this means then you try to go for pair representation so that you can eliminate or simplify or rearrange the terms with a minimum number of variables in the final output equation. Okay, just I will try to summarize, just I will try to summarize what all the methods, man, what, how to frame or how to map the truth table into a K map is the first one enter one on map for each fundamental product that produces one output in the truth table and enter else 0 elsewhere like. The another one is encircle the octet, this is how you have to simplify the given. <coughs> to table or in, to get a simplified equation here encircle the octets quads and pairs if any isolated ones are remained means suppose say if you are getting one here which is not possible to make an octet means what you do is you can combine this you can combine this one with this one like with this one so you can isolated ones also you can encircle with respect to the octet or maybe with respect to quad or maybe with respect to the pair also so that you will get a simplified form form. So, next step is if at all if you have any redundant pairing there like you have to remove that redundant pairing also. So, next once it is formed means you try to you will get a simplified mean terms there with respect to the combination then you try to do an R with respect to the product terms that are encircled you will get a final equation which we call it as simplified Boolean equation simplified Boolean equation. See just here <coughs> In this slide we can see what are the things which we can make before uh, uh, grouping it like. So, you can do an overlapping also overlapping in the sense if any one are present which is not combined with respect to an octet or something like a pair means with respect to quad what you do is you try to combine with an ones which are there in the octet or maybe in pair or maybe in quad so that you will get a simplified equation this is the best example like this I have taken from the book like a plus b c b c bar d is simpler when compared to it is not combined or individually written with respect to the isolated ones isolated ones like. See another concept that we have in terms of K map is you can roll the map also you can rolling group in the sense I will give I will take an example and I will show you what is the rolling of group. So, let us see how we can simplify <coughs> simplify by taking a simp simple examples by using a K map just I will take a simple expression simple expression with a mid term representation and let us see what is the equation that we get with respect to a K map simplification like. <coughs> See, I will take an example y is equal to function of something like 3 variable a, b, c, which is having a min terms position is equal to just it is an example like so <coughs> 2, 6, and 7th position. Let us see what is the equation that we get it with respect to this like. This is just an example here. So, 3 variables are there means I can write <coughs> the k map like this. So, here I will write a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar here you have an another variable c bar and c b. So, here I will try to write a b c are the three variables that I have taken here. So, in this position the input will give you an output as equal to 1. 
So, if you are getting confused means try to write the position the decimal value is equivalent in terms of the position here like this is 0 0 see 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 this is 0 and this is 1th position like 2 means it is 0 1 0. So, the 0 1 0 means this is a position you try to fill 1 there. Okay. Next is 6, 6 means it is 1 1 0, 6 decimally binary equivalent is 1 1 0. So, 1 1 0 means it is A bar A B C bar A B C bar the min term is. So, 1 1 0 means the min term is A that is fundamental product is A B C bar. So, what you do is in that position I try to fill 1. So, you have one more term min term that is 1 1 1 that is equal to A B C. So, A B A C is here you try to fill 1. See in all other position try to fill 0. So, now you have to group like. See first you have to look for whether it is possible to make a octate it is not possible because you do not have 4 variables you have only 3 variables here like. So, there is a 3 variable table means only possibility is you can make the quad grouping 4, four ones of group we can make it like. So, here I do not I, I, I cannot form that also, but you can group into 2 pairs here like this is 1 pair that you can group it. So, another that you have is this one like as I said isolated ones also can be combined with the pair here like. So, we are getting two pairs here. So, now you have to write an simplified min term by combining these two. See here <coughs> see A bar B, A B is there, here C is there like. See now the changing one is changing one is A bar A and B C bar and B C bar will be common here like. So, the simplified equation that I can write with respect to this is 1 the simplified min term that I can write here is that is B C bar. Now, how we easily you can write it like see, the better way is you try to write like this the min term C A B and C bar you have with respect to this one this is A B C bar. So, which one is changing here the input A variable is changing from complement to an uncomplemented form like. So, if I combine this means so <coughs> easily see you try to make this is equal to 1 that is 0 and 1 means just you can eliminate this this is eliminating variable like A is nothing but an eliminated variable you will be getting this is equal to C bar or the other way of writing is 0 1 1 0 here 1 0. So, anything is changing means you try to eliminate this we call it as an eliminating group. So, next one is 1 1 is there means do not put in terms of complement forum. If 1 is there means you try to write B, if 0 is there means you try to write it as C bar like. So, this is how you can write and simplified equation with respect to this pair like. So, next one we have is this is the second pair that we have, this is the second pair that we have here like. So, now you can write A B the min term with respect to this one is A B C bar the another min term that I have with respect to this is A B C. If I use a Boolean a Boolean relation means I can simplify it that like this C plus C bar this is equal to A B or otherwise in simple way C is changing here like the C is changing to C bar that is uncomplemented to a complemented one this will become an eliminating group like. So, now you will be getting A B as an output. So, the simplified expression by using schema of simplification is A B plus B C bar otherwise you will be getting 3 terms if I use this graphical simplification method means you will be getting A B plus B C bar. Suppose if I have 1 year means it have been reduced much there like that means if I use a quad means only one variable you would get as an output here like because I cannot make into a quad. So, you, you will be getting 2 pair groups like 2 pair group means for one pair there will be one min term simplified min term for another you have a simplified min term this will give you a simplified form of boolean expression for this you can frame <coughs> for this you can write a distal circuitry or I can say you can realize this expression. The final expression that I got is this A B plus B C bar y is equal to A B plus B C bar. Now, you can use an under logic that means and gate and an R gate you can use it to realize or so, NAND and NAND logic also you can use it for realization purpose like NAND and NAND gate. So, just I try to write a NAND and NAND gate here this is A and B are the two inputs that I will be giving for one gate. <coughs> the another gate that I will use I will give something like B as an input here <coughs> and C bar, C bar, C bar is an another input. So, here you will be getting an output is B C bar and A B there is an R sign 
So, what you do is R ring also can be done by using this. This is a NAND gate, NAND and NAND combination. So, this becomes the final circuit, simplified final circuit for the expression which is having min terms is equal to min term output is equal to 1 in position 2, 6 and 7. This is in terms of <coughs> simple 3 variable simplification here. So, I will take up an another example another example with respect to 4 variables. Let us see how we can simplify it by using K map. So, just I will take an example, it is a random example that I am taking here. In all these positions, the output of that product term will be equal to 1. So, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, something like 13, 14 and 15. In all these terms, according to the truth table, I will be having an output is equal to 1. So, let us see. <coughs> so, totally how many min terms that you will be getting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 min terms will be there like. If I use a K map means, let us see how, how much simplification with respect to this equation will take place like. Okay. So, first we will try to write the K map, 4 variable K map here, <coughs> 4 variable K map. that is 4 variable means I will be having A bar, B bar, <coughs> A bar B, A B, A B bar. So, here also we have another 2 variables here that is C bar, D bar, <coughs> next is C bar D, C D and C D bar is there like. So, equivalently you can write in terms of binary value 0 1 1 1 1 0. See so, depending upon your convenience you can write this in terms of either 0s and 1s or you can uh, put a logical labels also. Here if you write something like A, B, C, D like this means it will be easy to remember as well as simple uh, put the values in those midterm positions like. So, in 2 you have an value see 0, 1 the better way is. <coughs> so, you try to write 0, 1, 3, 2, next is 4, 5, 7, 6, next is <coughs> 8, 9, 11, 10, next is 12, 13, 15, 14. So, this will make you easy to fill the 1s in those min term positions here. So, 2 you have the output is 1, next is 4, next is 5, next is 6, 7, next is 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 15 is there like. So, here 1 is there here 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, here 1. Here in all other positions you try to fill 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, in all other positions you have to fill, fill 0. So, now you have to group like, you have to group the 1s with an adjacent blocks. First you have to look for an octet that is 8 1s of group. <coughs> Next is quad that is 4 1 group. If at all if it is not possible with respect to those rep, uh, grouping means you try to go for pairing like. If at all if it is not possible if you have any isolated ones means try to combine with this also. <coughs> See in this case 1 1 1 1 is there 1 1 1 1 is also there like you can you can form an octet with respect to this like octet. See how, how many variables this octet can remove means it can remove 3 variables. It can remove 3 variables, the quad can remove 2 variables where pair can remove only 1 variable like that is why we have to go in descending uh, <coughs> that is descending order, order like first you have to make an octet, next is a quad, next is a pair here like. So, you have an isolated one here like what you do is you try to combine this like combine this you can combine this. Now, you have to write a mathematical equation that is Boolean equation with respect to an octet here. See octet here in the sense in the upper horizontal row C bar D bar is there, C bar D is there. So, this will eliminate, this will become D will become an eliminated group here. See in this case C, <coughs> C bar D, C D, C D bar here like okay. D, here D will become an eliminating group, here C bar D, C D and C D bar. Okay, this here it will become an another eliminating group here. C, 
C is common, D and D will be eliminated here, will D here, it will be eliminated like A bar B, A B, 0 1 1 1 1 0, it is correct. So, here because it is an horizontal row means all this C and D will become an eliminating group. Here in case of vertical sense A and A bar is there, this will become an eliminating group. What you left it is with respect to this one, you left with only the mean term value that is B only. So, next you have an another pairing here with respect to two pairs. So, now you have to write <coughs> the eliminating group with respect to this like. See here A bar B bar is there, A bar B B is an in vertical sense B and B bar will be an el eliminating group here eliminating group. So, what you left with is A, see I will try to write min terms here A B bar, A bar, B bar and C D bar that is C is 1, D is 0, A bar, B bar 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. You have another term that is A bar B, A bar B and C D bar. So, which will become an eliminating group here? See A bar <coughs> is that an eliminating group here, B, B bar is an eliminating group because this is changing here. So, now the equation that you left with is A bar C D bar. So, the final equation that is simplified equation that you will be getting is B plus A bar C D bar. See further simplification is not possible with respect to by using any laws or theorems with respect to this equation. Okay. I hope you are understood like how to simplify by using a K map. Okay. See another term we have is if any overlapping terms are there like in any overlapping terms are there means you have to combine with an octet that is overlapping in the sense this is how we can do it like any number of times if one is here means you can combine with, with this also. If any one is here means you can combine with this also like. Okay. <coughs> So, next is if any redundant grouping is there means you have to remove it. Just I will take an example and I will try to simplify it like. We will try to simplify it like. See in this we will be discussing something called as overlapping group or see once the overlapping is done next you have to find out if any redundant grouping is there like if any redundant grouping is just I will take an example and I will explain what is the meaning of redundant group there. <coughs> Suppose this is my two table I have ones here and I have ones something like this okay <coughs> ones here. So, what usually we do is we will try to combine like this we will try to combine like this we will try to combine like this. So, here we have a redundant grouping with respect to these things like what you need to do is that redundant groups can be really removed by combining like this. Now, if any more pairings are occurred means you try to remove it that is the meaning of removing a overlapping like. So, 1 1 1 1 is there here 1 1 is there like. So, you try to make this as an one quadruple group and you can combine something like this. This is called as an explicit grouping here in which it is not combined with respect to other thing. Okay. So, that is as it is something you are reducing the redundant groups here and in this case one more concept that you can understand here is rolling of map, rolling map like rolling map in the sense I will take another example to explain this is called as a rolling map here. Suppose say <coughs> you have 1 1 here, you have 1 1 here like usual tendency of grouping is you can group here as well as you can group here like you will be getting two mean terms like number of terms that you will be getting is more here. So, what you need to do is if I get this type of <coughs> example or something like <coughs> sequence in terms of grouping means what you do is you, you can combine like this this is rolling of map rolling of map you can combine these ones with along these ones these ones here like such that it will become a quad type of combination. So, that two variables will be reduced this is called as a rolling of map like rolling groups or rolling map. This will help us to simplify the bo given Boolean equation with respect to two table into a simpler form. So, that you can reduce <coughs> you can get a simpler equation. So, that I can implement by using very few number of logical gates logical gates. 
uh, so so <coughs> i will summarize what are the things which you have studied in this session the first one that we have seen is how to form a sum of products method to design any logic according to the requirement like that is sum of product sop method in that we we have defined the fundamental products which we call also called as a min terms usually min terms will be represented with m of i that is suffix i where i represent the decimal equivalent value in terms of binary for which for those values the output will be equal to 1 for them we call it as min terms like so <coughs> so we are take we have seen an example how to frame the min terms or how to write an min terms with respect to the outputs which is having a value is equal to 1 and then we will be making an r ring r ring such that you will be getting a final equation for which we call it as a boolean expression according to the requirement after writing into a two table so later if you want to simplify it means i have to use any of the relation boolean relation that you have studied or a theorem that you have to use it instead of that if i go for a more logical variable means the number of min terms that we will be getting is high it is quite difficult to simplify it that's why we go for a simpler technique called as a karnoff map method to simplify the lo logical <coughs> expressions the so karnoff map is nothing but a visual display of a fundamental products which are needed for simplification purpose to get a simpler boolean equation so we have seen <coughs> how to form a k map for two variables three variable and four variables in that once if you understood how to frame the four variable k map means next we have to fill the min term values the output is equal to 1 in the respective positions and you have to group them like group them to get a simplified logical min term particularly min term so the order in which you have to group is first you have to look for an octet depending upon the two table ones min terms will be there you have to choose it like <coughs> first in particularly four variable first you have to group in terms of octet first if at all if it is possible according to the min terms that you have next is go for an quadruple type of representation next a pair type like so if i go for an octet representation means you can simplify three eliminate or i can say eliminate three variables if i go for a quad means you can eliminate two variables if i go for a pair means you can we eliminate one like so preferably we go for a higher order to lower pairing there such that you can get a simplified equation <coughs> see <coughs> after filling that you have to group it once you have grouped it means you have to uh, <coughs> if any overlapping groups are there means you can combine with the octets or quads and other things if any rolling maps are there means you can combine so that you will get a simplified form so i think students you are understood how to write a k map and how to simplify by using a k map also okay if any redundant groups are formed means you try to remove them like if redundant groups are there means simply the product equation equation will be a little bit bigger to avoid you have to avoid that such that you will get a simplified simplified equation by which you can implement the given logic design in by using a minimum number of gates so that the cost as well as more reliability will be there with respect to that because if i have a big circuits means naturally multiple hazards or hazard uh, static hazard or one hazard static one or static zero hazards will be there to avoid that naturally we need to have a simple circuit so that you'll get a correct output for a given specification design like thank you